Hello all. This video on JustQuant is a continuation to our previous video on LCM. In our previous video, we tried to understand LCM and we also had a look at the techniques used to calculate LCM. In this video, we'll solve the following important problems on LCM. So let's get started. Let's solve our first problem. LCM of two numbers is 60. The numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 4 find the numbers. In order to solve this, let's assume that the two numbers are n1 and n2. And it is given that n1 is to n2 is 3 is to 4. Hence, n1 can be written as 3x and n2 can be written as 4x. Right? But we have the LCM of the two numbers is 60. Hence, LCM of 3x and 4x will be equal to 60. Now the LCM of 3x and 4x is nothing but 12x. Hence we can write 12x is equal to 60 which gives us x equal to 5. We thus have n1 equal to 3 into 5 which is equal to 15 and n2 equal to 4 into 5 which is equal to 20. Thus the two numbers are 15 and 20. Okay. Now, what is the highest four digit number that is divisible by 6, 15, 20 and 50? Here, if the highest four digit number is divisible by 6, 15, 20 and 50, then it must be divisible by the LCM of those numbers. Hence, we have The LCM of 6, 15, 20 and 50 is 300. Now, the highest 4 digit number is 9999. This, when divided by 300, gives us a remainder which is 99. Now, subtracting 99 from 9999 gives us a value which is divisible by the LCM of these four numbers, okay? Which in turn implies that 9900 is the highest four digit number that is divisible by 6, 15, 20 and 50, okay? In our next problem, we need to calculate the lowest number that gives remainder 5 when divided by 14, 35 and 77. In order to solve this, let's first calculate the LCM of 14, 35 and 77 which is 770 that means 770 is the lowest number that gives a remainder 0 when divided by 14, 35 and 77 now 770 plus 5 gives us a number 775 which is the lowest number that gives a remainder 5 when divided by 14, 35 and 77, right? In general, the lowest number leaving a remainder R when divided by N1, N2, N3 is given by the LCM of N1, N2, N3 and so on plus R, right? A number N leaves remainders 2, 5, 13 when divided by 5, 8, 16 respectively find the lowest such number. Here we see that the difference between the remainders and the respective divisors is same. That is, the difference between 2 and 5 is minus 3, the difference between 5 and 8 is minus 3 and the difference between 13 and 16 is also minus 3. Now the difference between the remainder and its respective divisor is nothing but the negative remainder that n leaves when it is divided by that particular divisor that is n when divided by 5 leaves remainder 2 or a negative remainder which is minus 3 and when n is divided by 8 it leaves a remainder 5 or a negative remainder 8 minus 5 which is again minus 3 and when n is divided by 16 it leaves a positive remainder 13 or a negative remainder minus 3 again right 
so here we see that n leaves the same negative remainder when it is divided by the divisors 5 8 and 16 right so now we can rephrase our problem as a number n leaves remainders minus 3 when divided by 5 8 16 find the lowest such number right so this problem is similar to a previous problem wherein the lowest number leaving a remainder r when divided by n1 n2 n3 is given by the lcm of n1 n2 n3 plus r so we have the lcm of 5 8 16 plus the negative remainder minus 3 which is equal to 80 minus 3 that is 77 right so 77 is the least number that gives remainders 2 5 13 when divided by 5 8 and 16 respectively clear a and b start running from the same point in the same direction at a circular field a takes 20 seconds and b takes 30 seconds to complete a round when will a and b meet again at the starting point here since a takes 20 seconds to complete a round a will reach the starting point in multiples of 20 seconds that is a will take 20 seconds to complete one round 40 seconds to complete two rounds 60 seconds to complete three rounds and so on similarly b will take 30 seconds to complete one round 60 seconds to complete two rounds 90 seconds to complete three rounds and so on now since a takes multiple of 20 seconds and b takes multiples of 30 seconds to reach the starting point we have the time taken by a and b to meet again at the starting point is given by the lcm of 20 and 30 seconds which is 60 seconds right hence a and b will meet again at the starting point in 60 seconds so we'll end this video here i hope this was helpful thanks for watching